Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Kerbal Space Program as we are continuing to try and make our way to Jewel, and I'm starting with some footage from last time. Just to show you all, this was the attempted landing of the drone unit that will be sending to the different Julian moons, and unfortunately, due to pilot or control error, we have an explosion. It seems like I'm starting every episode with an explosion now. Maybe we'll avoid some more calamity this time, because we're continuing with movement exercises around the moon. So here we go, we have Jebediah Kerman and Bill Kerman in the mothership, as we have the interesting quirk in the point two three update of sometimes you switch from map mode and you get a really, really far zoom out. But here we go, what we have is Jeb and Bill there in different compartments, and Bill is going to be taking the lander while Jeb is going to be flying up above. Jeb primarily the pilot, Bill more the surface science guy you could say, but this is just a test of the lander unit. I do want Bill and Jeb to be my landing team going on to Lathe. But like I said, this lander is designed to go to Lathe and land, but it's going to take around an equivalent amount of Delta V to actually land and return to orbit from the moon. So I think this is a decent test. Now you may see that there's a decouple from the top. The way that this ship is designed is that it's actually going to, the lander will go down and then it will actually uh, recombine on the butt of the other side of the ship. So you may have seen from an earlier video where everything was kind of flipped around, you had the mothership together. That's how it's eventually going to be, but there'll be a lot less fuel tanks. So for now, here we go, getting Bill flying around, very excited, taking this lander first spin. It's bigger, it's bulkier than I was maybe intending or would like, especially as it's so tall as I continue to go for the kind of triangle phasing or triangle design that I had before, but you can see even how slowly this takes to turn. And there is no RCS on the lander. Maybe that is something that I could work with, but since there is an atmosphere on Lathe, then maybe the, it isn't, isn't going to really be necessary. But here is the burn just to get away from the rest of the mothership unit. And this is just going to be a straight up descent. Want to land on light side, preferably on the uh, dawn or dusk side. Main reason being is that it's easier to see shadow spread from the ground scatter. It's easier to track your shadow instead of right below you to give you an idea of where it is. Which is actually a, a consideration for the real moon missions in real life, assuming if you're the belief that they did not occur on a soundstage, which considering the Hubble Space Telescope has taken high resolution pictures of different landing stuff from the uh, different Apollo missions that were left on the moon, at least it gives credence that most, if not all, of the moon missions are real. We won't get into too much conspiracy theory today because right now, Bill has got a landing himself to make. And the Kerbins, the Kerbals have definitely landed on the moon multiple times here, sometimes with rescue, sometimes without rescue. Bill having been involved in one of those missions recently, as was Jebediah. Jebediah, the first rescue pilot before, who himself got stranded when his rocket unseemingly tipped over and then there wasn't enough fuel to actually get back so adventures in rocket design but we're just going to do some time acceleration you can see the multiple orbits here we have different probes different landings one ship that was left behind that is debris that i could technically strike and remove from the map and maybe i will if there's enough things in space to get things cluttered but for now here we go approaching at about 600 700 orbit orbital velocity maybe should click and change that to surface velocity but here we go bill doing the spin just and this is awkward if you look in there you can see bill is actually not in the pilot seat bill sitting in the passenger seat of this ship do not know what gives with that but the reason the ship is bulkier is because of the science unit you can see in the middle there i am hoping to return data but in the case that i just need to transmit it i want to have something to scrub it plus it gives a Modicum of realism, I guess you could say, if modicum's the right word. At least a little bit of realism of, you know what, if they're going to bring a lander to get some kind of surface samples, you want something on there to process it. It's exactly what missions are doing in uh, Mars with rovers and other places, but unfortunately, I'm already spotting a problem that's rearing its head again, and that would be that my fuel lines are once again screwing up just absolutely unbelievable for some reason not all of my fuel lines are working they're connected as they should be all the rockets are connected that's been a problem before but for whatever reason this is this is going to get ugly fast in fact this is where bill should probably disengage from the landing but instead he's going to keep 
continuing to go down because right now he's at a suborbital trajectory at this point and once again this is just terrifying stuff right now but he does have the landing potential but still do not know what's up this has been a continuous problem with this design and I don't know if it's because the base design was carried over from point two two but I just have issues where fuel is not being transferred and I could try and do a manual transfer right now because right now the weight of the ship is uneven but if I can just keep my momentum low hopefully I can get the transfer that I need here so getting closer to the surface you can see the ground scatter you can see shadow not ideal and land landing gears <sighs> okay this is now officially a botched landing somebody somebody put the landing gears on backwards how does that not get past testing? How does not that... Well, this is a test here, but that should have been caught before getting to the moon. As you can see now, this ship is going to land on the butt of its engines. Those landing gears are supposed to block the three main engines from coming back up. And now this is going to have to be an aborted flight. But the fuel is going to run out in one of the tanks. This is going to end horrible. Horrible. There we go. It's spinning out of control. There is... There's... What's there to do? Disengage? No, that was the wrong decision. But Bill, still in the lander can, still flying currently at almost 100 meters per second. And take some science because that's Bill, always dedicated to the mission. Things are spinning out of control. I'm reticent to think of what that looks like here, but he's still ascending. Can he possibly make it into orbit right now as just the fuel line calamity continues? Almost as if someone is sabotaging this and Bill's going to EVA. I mean, the moon's gravity is not fantastic. He does have an RCS pack, and he's actually going to try. He's going for the ballsy move here. There's no parachuting. There's nothing like that. Maybe what he could do is to try and slow his landing with his RCS to make it for a rescue. But instead, Bill, Bill's going to gut it out. He's going to go for the orbit. And that could be because maybe he thought he was going too fast to actually slow down enough with the speed that it was going at. But... Here we go. Look, Bill. Bill, very excited by the view. Of course, what comes up is going to come down, at least if Newton is to be believed out here. But it's interesting doing uh, maneuver nodes when you're in EVA because you can't really tell how much delta V you need or what you're going to get. And then because I'm holding down as hard as possible the uh, actual flying buttons, it's, it's going to be it's going to be rough. But here we go. Bill is going to have an apoapsis that's not great, but it will have an orbit over the moon. But right now it's just he's got to get oriented, and that's where being out in the sky here is really disorienting. He's got to point to where he's flying towards, which, of course, I'm sure he can feel it pretty well. But there we go. There is the Julian mothership flying over. You can see the galaxy in the background. And Bill just has a spectacular view. He's over the moon. He can see the arch, the massive craters. He can see his ship disintegrating below him. <sighs> so what does this say about the mission? I mean, there is nobody that can save Bill. He has to get into orbit. And he has to put himself into orbit with just his RCS thrusters. Or with his ship thrusters. With his limited fuel. He does have two-thirds of it left is it going to be enough right now he's right now he's got to push really hard to get there it takes a lot of delta v to get into orbit i don't know if he has enough uh, so there's been plenty of loss of life but to lose one of the one of the first carbon knots if bill can't make it because of a bot ship design with the landing gears combined with i don't know if it's some sab sabotage some kind of just incompetent design something where the fuel lines have some ghost in the machine I just take a look the night sky is going ever so tranquilly over as he is 14,000 meters above the moon and fortunately because he's so light and he is in a rocket pack he can adjust his apoapsis as he needs to but I think this is the moment where you start to realize that if unless you can work really 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 hard it's not like Jebediah can turn around on a dime. This isn't like Gravity the movie where you can just fly straight at things in orbit. That's not how it works. As right now, not only is he, uh, he's having a number of problems, including the fact that his burn isn't entirely efficient, but there we go. He's down to 20% 
of the fuel for his pack. That's this is gonna be it for Bill. I mean, what can you do but listen to the uh, sound of silence of the vacuum around the moon and watch the horizon come overhead and wonder where will you be landed and will you be remembered? Will there be a small impact crater for Bill himself? As there we go, the last attempt at maneuver node, Bill's pushed as hard as he could. As hard as he could, his apoaps is still, still up there, but there wasn't a lot he could do. There wasn't a ton of momentum that he could have used from the rocket that disengaged itself. Maybe he could have tried to land and wait for rescue, but right now, with all of the disasters, with all of the crashes, the Kerbal Space Program is under enough of a budget crush. There's no saying whether a rescue mission would be able to be immediately launched in time like last time, so Bill, there's a brave face. He sees what's ahead. If there's one thing that Bill doesn't lack, it's courage. Still taking EVA reports, still holding on to the data, making last observations. The moon well probed, well explored. Bill turns off his rocket pack and just lets momentum carry him the rest of the way. Some people have a fear of falling, some people have a fear of flying. Bill Kerman has nothing left to fear. But what does a star sailor want to do but to fly across space, across the sea ocean of the stars, and leave one's mark? So Bill's going to be approaching very quickly. His momentum going up. We can't see his actual speed, but I mean, it's hard. It's the closing moments. One of the main three astronauts, and there's... There's really just, this is, what does he have left? What is Jeb going to do? He's supposed to have his friend, his, uh, just what can you do? As we're getting to point impact, just one last look at Bill. It's hard to watch. A brave face to the bitter end. And Bill Kerman is no more. Not a trace, just another part of the moon or dust. And there you go, that's confirmed. This mission, this test, officially a failure. And what is there left to do? But just to try and salvage what you can, get back to Jebediah, and take the rest of it home. There's nothing to rescue, there's just parts. And so we go back to Jeb, his face, I don't know, Jeb always seems to have the same face. It's when something is shocking, when something's horrible, when one of his good friends crashes into the moon or surface. I don't know, Jeb, maybe Jeb just has one face. So I don't know if that is the smile of happy excitement or the smile of, he, I have no other expression to make right now, but... Right now, Jebediah has one thing left to do. There's no, there's going to be no recovery. There's there's no there's nothing in the mission profile to actually recover anything that may have crashed on the surface except from the lander. So, what's left for Jeb to do but just to turn around and go back to Kerbin? It's going to take one burn. It's going to take up most of the rest of the fuel from the Rockamax just one more rotation you can actually pass by the crater where Bill has laid himself to rest and here we go just one turn towards the maneuver node it's gonna be a retrograde burn and when I say retrograde I mean that in reference to the way the moon is spinning so there we go there's the Rockamax engine off and there is the remaining ship, agile by itself, but it's not supposed to be by itself. There's supposed to be an extra maneuver. The lander is supposed to be attached to the back of it. It's supposed to be tugged and pulled. You can see the docking port from behind, one that will not be used. Multiple docking ports that won't be used. And there is Jebediah Kerman coming alone back to almost the Kerbal Space Center. It looks like he's going to be 
plunging into the depths, perhaps. But this is this is a hard mission. I mean, this is this isn't even making it to Jewel. Imagine if I had hit the launch window, which is happening in about sixty days game time. Hit the launch hit the launch window, got to Jewel, and then all of this calamity happens. There's already been so much loss of life, so many destroyed ships, so much sacrificed. The first arrow breaking maneuver doesn't even get Jebediah into a landing trajectory, but it looks like he's trying to possibly get a land-based landing. And is he going to get one? Don't know. Have to see. But there's the remainder of the ship. And once again, this is going to be a hard landing for Jeb because this part of the design was not designed to land on its own. It'll be landing on nuclear rockets at this point. But I mean, it can detach and everything, and it'll just be the lander can. But still, this is this is not how the design was supposed to go. There's supposed to be a bottom part, landing legs that face the correct direction. A hard, hard retrograde burn from Jebediah just to burn some fuel, burn some mass, and to just try and get into a land, landlocked landing. So there we go. One more look at the moon from passing over the horizon, and now. It's going to be going into what a continent that some people refer to as Kafrika. At least that was one of the early renditions of it due to its similar shape to Earth's continent, Africa, which there are people out there that I know and I've spoken to that do not know that Africa is a continent. They think it's a country. It's a continent. All right, so here's Jeb. There is no life support mod. There is no deadly reentry mod. But if there were a deadly reentry mod, you would not want your nuclear engines to be burning into the atmosphere. But amazingly, his fuel lines are holding. And let me see. We have three parachutes, some on the engines, some on the lander can. And right now, this is not looking so awful. Now, there we go. Just... So now what is Jeb going to be falling into? He's going to be falling into some exploded, hard-landed, partially burned nuclear engines. <sighs> so many things wrong with this. And there's a hard hit too, Jeb. I'm going to have to check and see. But right now, just one more look at the brave Kerbal knot. Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, was injured in his landing but did survive the hard hit of the rest of his spacecraft. Bill Kerman, on the other hand, is no more. And that's a tough, tough blow for the Kerbal Space Program as they look to go to Jewel but have to look inward first. So there's going to have to be some redesigns to be made and some changes for things to come. But for now, that's it. This is way to fail with a somber attempt to quest forward for the green giant in the Kerbal system. That's it for now. Take care.